In the era of stealth fighters, digital cockpits, and autonomous drones, one aircraft continues to hold its ground in the heart of Europe's air forces, the Panavia Tornado. For over four decades, this twin-engine variable-sweep wing aircraft has remained a symbol of German engineering partnership and NATO's multi-role air power. Despite its age, the Tornado's ability to adapt, upgrade, and perform diverse missions has kept it relevant well into the 21st century. This video explores the story of Germany's Tornado, its origins, capabilities, modern upgrades, and its evolving role alongside the Eurofighter Typhoon. The Tornado was born out of the Cold War, when NATO countries realized they needed a multi-role aircraft capable of low-level penetration into enemy territory. In the late 1960s, West Germany, the United Kingdom, and Italy joined forces to create a joint program called Panavia Aircraft GmbH. The result of that collaboration was the Tornado, a jet designed to fly fast, low, and deadly. Germany saw it as the ultimate strike platform, a jet that could deliver precision attacks deep behind enemy lines, even under the radar coverage of Warsaw Pact defenses. The Tornado's design was revolutionary for its time. Its most distinctive feature is its variable geometry wings, allowing the pilot to adjust the sweep angle in flight. At takeoff or low speeds, the wings extend outward for maximum lift. When flying at high speed, they sweep back sharply to reduce drag and allow supersonic performance. This gave the Tornado unmatched flexibility. It could fly low and slow for ground attacks or accelerate beyond Mach 2 for quick penetration missions. Powering the aircraft are two Turbo Union RB199 turbofan engines, providing nearly 40,000 pounds of thrust combined. The Tornado's top speed exceeds 2,400 kilometers per hour, 1,500 miles per hour, with a combat radius of around 1,390 kilometers, 860 miles, depending on mission profile and payload. Its range and performance make it capable of flying deep into enemy territory, performing precision strikes, and returning safely. The Tornado comes in several versions, but Germany primarily operates two the Tornado IDS, Interdictor Strike, and the Tornado ECR, Electronic Combat Reconnaissance. The IDS variant is built for ground attack, carrying bombs, missiles, and guided munitions. The ECR version, however, specializes in electronic warfare and suppression of enemy air defenses. A critical role in modern combat, it can detect, locate, and jam radar signals or even destroy enemy radar sites using anti-radiation missiles such as the AGM-88 Harm. In its early years, the Tornado proved its worth as one of NATO's most capable strike aircraft. It was a mainstay of deterrence during the Cold War, with the Luftwaffe prepared to deploy in nuclear strike missions under NATO's dual-key arrangement. The Tornado could carry the American B-61 nuclear bomb, giving Germany a credible deterrent role with NATO's nuclear sharing policy. When it comes to versatility, the Tornado stands out even among modern jets. Its ability to perform multiple mission types, from reconnaissance and electronic warfare to precision strike and air interdiction, has made it indispensable for decades. Germany's Tornado fleet can carry a wide range of munitions. Unguided bombs, precision-guided weapons like the GBU-24 Paveway-3, anti-ship missiles, and the Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missile. The latter is a particularly advanced system, a stealthy long-range cruise missile capable of hitting high-value, hardened targets with extreme accuracy at distances exceeding 310 miles. Over the years, the Tornado's avionics and systems have undergone continuous modernization. The most significant upgrades came with the ASTA avionics system software Tornado ADA programs, which brought the jet into the digital age. The ASTA 3 and ASTA 3.1 upgrades include new multifunctional displays, modern GPS and communication systems, improved radar warning receivers, and integration of precision-guided weapons. These upgrades have allowed the Tornado to remain compatible with modern NATO communication and targeting standards, 
ensuring it can work seamlessly with the Eurofighter Typhoon and even with American aircraft in joint missions. Germany's Tornado ECR has also been upgraded to carry newer versions of the HARM missile, allowing it to engage modern radar systems with greater precision. The aircraft's mission computer and electronic countermeasure suite were enhanced to deal with today's more advanced surface-to-air threats. Despite being designed in the 1970s, the Tornado still plays a vital role in Germany's air operations. The Luftwaffe maintains a fleet of about 90 Tornadoes, divided between strike and reconnaissance units. These aircraft continue to train for both conventional and nuclear missions, maintaining Germany's dual-capable role within NATO. When compared to its modern companion, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Tornado's differences become clear, yet they complement each other perfectly. The Typhoon is a highly agile air superiority fighter optimized for air-to-air -air combat, interception, and defensive missions. The Tornado, on the other hand, remains a dedicated strike platform built for low-altitude, high-speed penetration, and precision bombing. Together, they form a powerful combination. The Typhoon clears the skies, while the Tornado strikes the ground. This pairing is similar to the relationship between the U.S. Air Force's F-15E Strike Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-15E carries heavy payloads for long-range strike missions, while the F-16 provides air cover and versatility. However, the Tornado's low-level penetration capability still sets it apart. Even the F-15E cannot match its terrain-following flight profile. The Tornado's advanced autopilot and terrain-following radar allow it to fly just 200 feet above the ground at high speed, using the Earth's terrain to mask its radar signature. This capability was critical during the Cold War and remains useful in modern warfare against radar-based defenses. One of the Tornado's greatest advantages lies in its ruggedness and survivability. Designed for the dense air defense networks of Eastern Europe, the aircraft features strong redundant systems, electronic countermeasures, and a robust airframe. Its two-person crew, a pilot and a weapons systems officer, share the demanding workload of low-level flight and weapons management, allowing for greater mission effectiveness in complex operations. The Tornado's combat record speaks for itself. It was deployed during the Gulf War in 1991, where German tornadoes flew reconnaissance missions and British tornadoes carried out intense low-level bombing runs over Iraq. The aircraft proved capable of operating in extremely hostile environments, even though several were lost due to the high-risk nature of their missions. Later, tornadoes participated in NATO operations over the Balkans, Afghanistan, and Libya, providing both strike and reconnaissance support. In the years that followed, Germany continued to rely on the Tornado as its main strike aircraft, even as other NATO members began replacing theirs with more modern platforms like the F-35 Lightning II. Germany chose to keep the Tornado operational while modernizing its systems. This decision was not just about tradition. It was about maintaining a critical capability that no other aircraft in the Luftwaffe could replace yet. However, change is coming. Germany plans to retire the Tornado fleet by the end of the 2020s. The replacement strategy involves both the Eurofighter Typhoon and the American F-35A Lightning II. The Typhoon will take over the conventional strike and electronic warfare roles, while the F-35A will assume the nuclear delivery mission, continuing Germany's participation in NATO's nuclear sharing framework. Even as retirement approaches, the Tornado remains a vital bridge between generations. Its long service life, over 40 years, demonstrates how robust and adaptable the original design truly was. Few aircraft have managed to remain operational and relevant across such a vast technological gap. The Tornado was born in the analog age but has successfully adapted to the digital era of network-centric warfare. From a design standpoint, the Tornado represents a philosophy of balance, combining speed, flexibility, and mission variety in one platform. It was designed to be stealthy, but its ability to fly low and fast often made radar stealth unnecessary. It wasn't built to dominate dogfights, but its precision strike ability gave it a decisive edge in warfare. If we compared it to American aircraft, the Tornado's closest counterpart would be the F-15E Strike Eagle or the retired F-111 Aardvark. The Tornado was smaller and less powerful than the F-15E but more specialized in low-altitude attack missions.
Compared to the F-111, the Tornado was lighter, more agile, and more efficient in European theaters. What makes the Tornado unique is that it combined the British focus on multi-role adaptability, the German emphasis on engineering precision, and the Italian drive for efficiency. Truly a European masterpiece. As the Luftwaffe gradually transitions toward newer platforms, the legacy of the Tornado will continue to shape Germany's military aviation doctrine. Its design principles, multi-role flexibility, high-speed penetration, and technological adaptability have influenced later aircraft, including the Eurofighter Typhoon and even the upcoming future combat air system. In the end, the Tornado is more than just an aircraft. It's a testament to European cooperation and engineering resilience. It has served as Germany's shield and sword for over four decades, adapting through every technological wave and geopolitical shift. From Cold War deterrence to modern-day NATO operations, the tornado has been there, proving that good design and continuous modernization can keep even the oldest warriors flying strong. And as Germany prepares for a future where stealth fighters and advanced drones dominate the skies, the tornado will be remembered not just as a relic of the past, but as the aircraft that defied an era, the thunder that still echoes across Europe's skies. What are your thoughts on the tornado? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.